afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder keg, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Doing well. Thanks for asking. I would let you through if I could, sir, but not at this moment. Not a political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. series. Book one. Title, Diplomacy. It's Edge. When his best friend is killed by a Langley-approved drone strike in the mountains of Pakistan, a seat. Sir? Sir? When his best friend is killed by a Langley approved drone strike. Like in the mountains of Pakistan, CIA analyst Nick Sparta quits the agency in protest. Three years later, Nick works as a freelance security advisor in Egypt. However, when a dying Interpol agent hands him a badly damaged USB key containing fragments of the mysterious Omega Charter, Nick Sparta is forced back into the deadly world of espionage. 
A sinister cabal of powerful individuals are orchestrating a coup d'etat that could potentially destabilize the entire region, and Nick is the only one with the knowledge and skill. to escape and take shelter at the embassy in Cairo, expecting riots to break out. Hey, um, excuse me, I don't... Can I help you? looking at these beautiful oh, no. oh, he starts in How are you doing? Uh, uh, just go ahead, man. Strandberg is a lunatic. The printing crew spreads fake propaganda in the name of Crystal Dawn, the Pan-African Liberation Movement. Hmm. 
You go. On it. Carry on. General Zayden keeps coming down here to check on the prisoner. I hear they were close, so... What'd he do, poor bastard? The way I heard it, his brother was one of the policemen who got killed in the Merch Attack Strandberg's prison transport this morning. So, he, uh... He got cold feet. Tried to blow the lid on the whole operation. Uh, not smart. But, uh, pretty human. According to the soldiers, the condemned... I'm just glad I don't. You're in. Good work, 47. Now to locate General Zaydan. Now to locate General Zaydan. Still on guard duty, huh? Hey, drive it.
You're dismissed. General Satan's order. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Is... Is someone in here? Hello? No! <laughs> That is General Reza Zaydan, Keeper of the Peace. Plan. Zidane won't expect res resistance from a tied up prisoner. Time to decide. What should I do? Well, don't tell me you're sleeping, Said. Plenty of time for that, I'm sure. Target down. Move on to Klaus Strandberg. Salutation, sir. The best in Morocco. My special health blend is famous in all of North Africa. Invites only. Please pre present your personal image. Good evening.
Strandberg. Strandberg. You made it. Most impressive for hey, Now to that. locate Klaus Strandberg. According to the appointment schedule, Klaus Strandberg has booked a massage to relieve his back pains. No doubt all that time in prison has caused muscle stiffness. The masseur, who works at a local clinic, has apparently already checked into the building. Expert Connie Angstrom. Hey, report at the reception desk. Connie Angstrom, please go to the reception desk. It is not fair. It is. It isn't. You can't keep me in here under these. Can't keep me in here under these circumstances. Well, thank you, Susan, but you're not the one to put people in deep kitchen massage in a freaking war zone, okay? It is that bad, Donald. It is. Believe me. Yeah, no, do not put me on hold. Don't think about cigarettes. Don't think about cigarettes. I control the habit, not the other way around. I control it. Don't think about cigarettes. Hey, hey, hey let go of it!
can't keep me in here under these circumstances. If I had known... Well, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one supposed to be doing deep tissue massage in a freaking war zone, okay? It is that bad, Donald, it is. Believe me. Yeah, no, do not put me on hold. Oh, boy. Hmm, I really need a cigarette here. Uh, yes, I'm still here, and I'm still not doing it. Forget about the angry mob, okay? Do you know who this Strandberg guy is? Huh, Donald? Do you? He's a wanted fugitive. He's like the Prince of Fiscal. I'm not performing with these hands on the likes of him. My golden. You think you can hit me with that? Huh? It's bad karma, Donald. I mean, what if I lost my golden touch as a result? Then what would I do with myself and my life? I'm not. I am not exaggerating. No, no. This asshole stole billions from honest, hard working. <laughs> Working. Oh, no, no, you don't. No, not again. Do not put me on hold, Donald. You're never. Jeez. Stay right here. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, I want no trouble. <sighs> Jesus, I'm. Awesome. Oh, my God. Oh, Christ. What are you. Working. Oh, no, no, you don't. No, not again. Do not put me on hold, Donald. You're never that. <sighs> oh, huh. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a lung full of sweet, sweet nicotine right about now. Donald, yes. I wanted to say about earlier. You can't do that. Okay. Donald, I have debts. How, how long have we been friends? Don't make me drag my union representative. Oh, come on! I can't, no, I can't hear a word you're saying. Someone turn the TV off. I, no, hold on, I'm heading outside. Do Donald? Do Donald? Donald? Yes, hello. This is
Connie Engstrom. Hello Mr. there. Here for an appointment with Klaus Strandberg. Oh, Mr. Engstrom. Please proceed to the massage room. It's upstairs on the right. I'll inform Mr. Strandberg. Hey, uh, what's up? Uh, hey there. You're gonna die! Johnny Engstrom, Monsieur, here for an appointment with Klaus Strandberg. Oh, Mr. Engstrom, please proceed to the massage. It's upstairs on the right. I'll inform Mr. Strandberg. Hi. You wouldn't have any weapons on you, sir. No weapons allowed here, I'm afraid. Klaus you can relax. Strandberg. No need to flex, sir. Your session awaits. I repeat, Klaus Strandberg. All right, good job, sir. Thank you. Oh, good. There you are. The Klaus Strandberg. They call me Klaus. Ah, so the man with the golden touch. Uh, let's get started. Shall we? Ah, oh, this. Would you mind giving me some space? Well done, 47. I will leave Strandberg in your capable hands. What is it now? Really, I... Ah, oh, that's the ticket. I tell you, nothing makes you tense like thousands of people wanting to kill you. <laughs> Both targets down. Now head towards an exit.
compromised. But I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Cobb? But... His plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. People die, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. <clears throat> How much was there? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives, like you. Take a trench, Director, and make it a deep one, because none of you are safe anymore. <laughs>